Hey everybody, Tag Life Done Free. Hey, we're about done with our retaining wall we've been working on. And, uh, you know, it's been a fun experience. You know, I had to, to deal with some water issues and we disguised them inside of a planting box. But uh, we're about done uh, with it. It's just about a wrap. Got a little few more things to do to finish it up, but I thought I'd share it with you guys. So anyway, if you're interested in how the retaining wall came out, if you're interested in how I dealt with water um, and disguised it into a planting box, come on, let's check it out. So from the beginning, I'm just going to get these footings uh, set in so I have something to stack the rock on. This is on the side of the house. There's a nice, beautiful cistern that we collect rainwater out of for uh, Beast Processing Kitchen. I'm going to pour the sidewalk while I'm in here, um, but I'm really doing it for this, you know, retaining wall. Got to put some rebar down in the bottom. This was the first time I've used the fiberglass rebar, so I'll have to let you guys know in five or six years, you know, how well that uh, fiberglass rebar uh, held up, but it's a pretty easy process. Just got to get it level. Um, we'll pour this stuff, uh, you know, all full of concrete. And uh, again, I'll have a nice firm base. It's amazing to look back at it from my perspective because, um, you know, from right here, you can tell the top of the, the ground there as it slopes down. I'm really just trying to prevent the water and uh, I get to disguise it into some planting boxes, as you'll see as I go on this. But, uh, you know, it's neat looking, as I saying, it, neat looking back at my land because it totally looks different now that I've got you know all of this stuff um, you know kind of already put in there so uh, this is just the back footing there's many more to come and I'll show you guys as we go along um, and it's just so interesting to look at you know now that I go back through it after all that work's done um, so anyway phase one will be to pour these footings that you see here but there will be footings for stairs there will be footings for uh, the fronts of the walls you know kind of as time goes on but uh I do it in stages so I can manage it, and uh, you know it ought to come out pretty good. And I think B will be pretty happy. She don't have a great imagination, but uh, anyway. So uh, here's that back footing poured, and again I haven't poured the sidewalk yet. It's just the footing that we get to stack the wall on. Um, but nice and simple, get it poured. I've got to come back here now and you know kind of smooth it out so that uh, the block's got something you know super strong uh, to sit on. Hi Violet, what are you doing? Are you eating a bone? Are you eating a bone? Huh? Let's go for you. Back on vacation, I see. Yep, I took all my friends. Yep, playing with the turkeys. Yeah. Yeah. We're having a round meeting here. You know, we'd get a lot more done if you just leave the turkeys be. Yeah. Ouch. You know ouch. What are you saying ouch about? That one pecked my <laughs> foot. Hurt my leg. Mm. Yeah. So not only are you not getting your work done and lollygagging with the turkeys, you're not even giving them discipline, right? Discipline? Yeah. They don't have discipline. They don't need discipline. These guys are in love. <laughs> They're loved. They don't have discipline. Mm -hmm. Are you guys loved? Are you guys loved? Are I you? love you. What is that? What is that? Is that the camera with a plain light? What is that? What is that? We don't know, do we? So uh, as we keep building these blocks, just so you guys know, so once the first row goes in, um, I come back in and drill in some little rebar pins that kind of hold the uh, base, you know, from moving uh, back and forth. And then after that, it's just literally stacking it and going along. As you can see, I've got the stairs framed up and uh, I've got this little pad here that I'm going to frame up. And uh, this will be uh, set into the planting boxes. So uh, B's got something cool to sit. So today... I'm going to pour these stairs, right? I'm also going to pour down here, this slab down in here. And so I know it's probably super hard to see um, here, but this is going to create this raised planting box that goes kind of up and around. And uh, much like this other one over here, B has been on me about creating her spaces closer to the house to grow things like her herbs and things like that. So. This retaining wall, I know I've shown you guys before, is going to continue up, but I need these stairs in before I can turn that corner. And so we're going to knock that out today. Because I've told you guys many times, when you're pouring concrete, I always try to have something extra poured. So I've got a small footing over here ready to go um, in case I need it. And then I also have another one over here. 
Michael, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I've got a small one over here. And this is, there's going to be a pillar down here um, at some point. I don't really need it done today. But again, I don't want to just pour the concrete um, on the ground. So, so as you guys can see, we're just uh, pouring concrete. And, uh, you know, I can't tell you how cool it is that B jumps right in there. And, you know, she's such a hand and she's helped me build this entire place. My buddy, Indiana, Indiana Mike, you can see him sitting there. He came over to uh, help us. So, basically, we're just going to fill these uh, stairs. Once them get done, we're going to work on this other pad, which you'll see in a minute, and then we'll fill uh, the excess into those other footings that I poured, you know, just in case. But it's not a hard process. You just, you know, kind of smooth it out, um, let it harden, and uh, then you get it out. There's that pad I'm talking about. So, again, this is going to inset into um, the wall, give B a place for a table, and uh, give some character, you know, to that wall. Um, so as I'm fin finishing that, me and uh, Indiana Mike are trying to screen that out. B is finishing working on finishing the stairs and uh, guys we'll pull the forms off the front of the stairs early and that's kind of a timing thing and this allows us to you know kind of finish the you know edge of the stair but uh, as you can see Mike's running taking some excess concrete out anything we have excess we dump down into the wall because it just makes the wall harder and uh, stronger so uh, we want to fill every single cavity but I'll do it with sc scrap with what's left over from my pores instead of you know ordering concrete for for no other purpose Yep, back on vacation. Look at that. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm having fun. Are you? I see Mike has joined the vacation bandwagon. No hobla English. <laughs> you guys are doing a great job. I'm uh, going to go back to my nap now. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Quick update on the... House sinking. We got the three blocks up over to the staircase. We got the footer way over there buried. So this wall will continue all the way around and connect to that footer over there. And this Dirt will slope, this already slopes, and we're hoping that this meets out here and goes around the house. So, we got, and then this is the new planting area, right next to the processing kitchen, pod four, living room, greenhouse over here so we have this stairs done three steps down this is angled this is angled here is the channel going down and around the house so the water will hopefully not enter through the front door. So uh, Bee's gonna come in here and she's gonna do a little grinding. And uh, you know, I love that my wife's a toughie, that she's not afraid to do those kinds of things. The reason why we're grinding is, because any of those little bumps that are a little bit tall, we wanna give those uh, blocks that we're gonna lay in there a good smooth foundation. And so she's just gonna knock some high spots off, uh, you know, with the grinder. And uh, there was just a couple that, you know, didn't come out perfect. and. So she'll do that and then uh, we'll be able to come back in and put those blocks in without any issues. Ah! Uh. See what we got going on? Nope, what do we got going on? We chalked our line. So are we done for the day? No, <laughs> we have only just begun. Chalked our line so we are level coming off of this wall because this is a big gap. So, so here, today, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna try to go up these stairs around this corner, lined up with this line, and then around this corner. So we're gonna try to get this planting box done. See how ambitious we are. Maybe we can go 
around the dining area. Mm. Quick update. Top part of the wall done. Day three. What? Day three, right? Got the planting box back filled so we can have dog beds in it. This is our farm gym membership. These were the pillar we had sitting here and we changed our mind. We changed our mind. We, didn't do shit. we, we decided to move the pillar from here up here. So this wall will come down, turn the corner, turn the corner, and head uphill. This will be a new planning box. I'm so glad we were able to finish this bed just in time for her to nap. So, there's going to be a pillar, a two foot by two foot pillar, and then we'll follow this footing with just a one high block wall to keep that dirt back to another pillar then over here there will be another pillar and again a one block wall one block high wall gonna come all the way down here to another pillar right here in this corner and then these this step down footing uh, will connect the wall and then it ought to be all connected and she can plant in it we are working on footings. Jonathan, you want to be in the camera? Smoothing the footings. Are you working good? I are am. you working hard? Or are you on vacation? Both. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Look at that. When's the last time you did concrete? Today. Today's the first time? And the first time. <gasps> last time and the first time. We're working we are working on the footers to continue this wall. Tag's over there doing what Tag does, talking on the phone. We got this little one. This one is a lot thicker because pillar goes here, pillar, pillar. So three pillars on this footer. This footer is 24 inches wide so pillar goes here stairs really dirty stairs pillar this is going to hold that planting dirt in and then the gravel out another pillar so this will be i'm not sure if this is going to be one block two blocks I'm not sure. We don't know how it's going to turn out. We don't have a, we have no blueprints. This is where I want to plant the cocktail tree. So we're just about done. As you can see, I've got the walls uh, built all the way around. Everything's backfilled. Um, we've still got to fill some blocks with concrete. And I've got a couple of the pillars that need another row. Like you can see that far one. Um, out there so we got to fill it and we got to put the caps on everything but this is what it is supposed to look like B gets some beautiful planting boxes but uh, you know what's really cool is I get to deal with the water and uh, as that water 
uh, you know, gets pushed away from my house. It makes my house last longer and, uh, you know, creates a whole lot less problems. But I get to disguise it in a way that uh, makes me happy. And I get to give her planting boxes and deal with the water. So this is as you're looking at it from the outside. Again, that center one needs uh, one more row and uh, we'll get to it. But uh, here's the blocks and I guess here we live to go and fight another day. I hope you enjoyed. Hey, what do you got to say to people that say you sleep too much? You're welcome. <laughs> I say that they're a bunch of turds. Thanks, Yoda.